driveway it's a saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress i like you're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes girl i can tell that you have something on your mind but i will make you forget all your sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how m- Does changing up the space in your home intimidate you? Maybe there's toys or leftover mail scattered all over your countertops and the thought of trying to quote unquote decorate gives you that dreaded word called anxiety. Or maybe you clicked on this video because you love decorating, you just can't seem to find the right pieces at the right price and then put them together in the right spot without having to rearrange them 25 times. Now, decorating is an art, and I think that we all have a little bit of artist in us. I'm going to give you some simple decorating tips and ideas to help bring the inner artist out of you. Now, I didn't start decorating with spring touches until I became an active user on Pinterest, and Pinterest will get you. Now, although I do keep it pretty simple, I didn't realize how much including some spring colored floral arrangements in your house really had an impact on my mood. After a long winter, bringing some of the outdoor beauty inside can really put a smile on your face. But before I can get started with decorating, the first thing that I have to do is clean up a bit. My console tables and countertops are no longer gonna be a catch-all space, but they are going to be something more enjoyable. So let's go ahead and get started doing a quick pickup of the main area. As I'm finishing up cleaning, I wanted to tell y'all a quick story of a food sensitivity test I took and the surprising results that I got back from it. Some of you on my Instagram, Michelle O'Malley 711, ask about recipes and like what I eat in a day. So this kind of impacted how I am going to show that only because I have to cut out a lot more food than what I thought. I took this food sensitivity test that my mom actually got me and Chris one of them and I'll link it down below and oh my gosh I'm talking about food and I am picking up dog poop with the little green machine so our dog is is 13 years old and she is very well potty trained but every once in a while she will have an accident so I had to get that cleaned up quickly so I took this food sensitivity test not really thinking much because I don't have stomach issues or you know at least i thought i would get bloated normally you know just like a normal person i felt like and then i so i was always curious to know if i had sensitivities i know i don't have allergies so this is not an allergy test so what it is is you take a hair a couple hair follicles and you mail it in and they mail you back this detailed list report of foods that could trigger that will trigger sensitivities to you so i'm thinking okay i'm probably not that sensitive to anything because i don't think i have pretty like reactions to stuff and it came back and i'm like sensitive to everything so now that i know this information i'm very hesitant like it basically said that i was sensitive to all dairy besides eggs I was sensitive to a lot of the glutens, but also some of the gluten-free stuff. Um, sensitive to corn. I was sensitive to pretty much all alcohol besides hard liquor. And then all the good things in life, like chocolate, milk chocolate, cheese, just you name it. So now that I know this information, I'm trying to cut it all out. I have not just... Um, 
cut out everything cold turkey, but I'm slowly trying to cut things out and see if I'm feeling any better. So have you guys ever had that happen? Um, and what impact has it made on you? Like you didn't really know you had a sensitivity to it and then you started you stopped eating it and then, you know, you feel like it's a hundred percent worth it to no longer eat that. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts because now that's going to have to change up how I cook a little bit, but a little bit of feedback I've received on my Instagram is to share some healthy recipes. So you guys let me know here if that is something that you are interested in. I'm about to start up tracking my macros again. If you haven't heard of macro counting, you can look that up. That's what works best for me. It doesn't work for everyone, but it's something that I like to follow. But I am just about finished getting the whole house cleaned up. It looks nice and clean and empty and ready to bring in some color. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull out all of the decorations that I had from last year. There are a few things that I bought this year from Hobby Lobby because I was trying to, that I say a few and you see all these bags. It really, it really wasn't that much, but I want to do kind of a modern look. So I have this idea in my head and in my head it looks fantastic and it actually does turn out fantastic in my opinion. But I'm also going to open up this tub that I have a lot of stems and floral arrangements. I am big on decorating with floral arrangements because I feel like they make the biggest statement for the less money. You can just purchase a few different stems, add it to a beautiful vase, and you can always change up the stems, change the color that you want, and it just makes a statement. So for my modern look, which I'm going to add a modern look on my console table, I saw these black cute little vases and I purchased two of them. So everything at Hobby Lobby was 50% off on all the tabletop and some of the spring decor. And then these topiary type bushes that I wanted to add on top of those vases instead of sticking like tall, taller um, floral arrangements in those. If you're into decor, then you'll notice that for 2023, one of the trends is a lot of rounded and curved type furniture. So I saw this tabletop tray there and I wanted it to match the vases, but it did not come in black. So the ones in black were not round and curved. This was the only type of curvature one that I could find. So my whole thought process here is to spray paint it black. I knew that we had black spray paint at home, but I didn't realize it was the shiny black and not the matte black. So my whole thought process here is to make it, what's the word? Not so solid black, but more of just a textured black or distressed look. So this is going to be on the same table as those black faces. So I wanted them to tie together. I didn't want a shiny black object and then this more textured matte black. So as I'm spray painting it, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I'm just going to test it out and see if all else fails, then I'll just spray paint the whole thing. But it turns out nice and distressed, almost looks like the wood was kind of burnt. You know how it turns black when it's burnt? So that was the look that I was going for. So I'm gonna spray paint all of it and then let it sit and dry. So as that's going to finish drying, I'm going to move inside and decorate this fireplace area. The two vases on either side of the mirror are the heart and hand collection from Target and I got those I believe in the fall time. 
Now, because this area is very tall, I feel like it needs a lot of height to bring the eye upward. So springtime usually represents a lot of pastel type colors, whereas summertime has more of those solid bright colors. So at Hobby Lobby, I purchased these branches, these beautiful flowers that are very tall. So it'll give it a lot of extra height. And that is what I'm going to put in those vases. I'm keeping it simple and using only one type of flower here. The thing I like about these really tall stems is that you can bend and fold them and make the height as tall or as low as you want. Now, if the height is too tall, then they may tip over and you'll need to make it fuller. So you'll need to add a lot, but I ended up just putting about five stems in each face. As far as the height goes, I made them almost the same, but some I made a little bit taller so they would stand out more and then some a little bit shorter. Now, once you get a good idea of the height you want, I know that a lot of people will cut the ends off, but because I may use these stems in another place, you know, next year, then I like to just bend them and then I'll hide the stems, you know, in these vases because they're not clear vases and uh, I could potentially use them for another vase and then adjust the height if I need to. I did a poll on my community tab last week and I asked you guys, do you decorate for spring? And majority of the people said they do not decorate for spring. They keep everything the same. But if you are contemplating just adding something simple, I feel like this is the easiest thing you can do. I will keep these vases as a staple piece unless I find, you know, something different. But just throughout the seasons, I'll just change up the floral arrangements so it makes it feel like a new inviting space. Say, for example, in the fall time, I'll add a lots of orange colors, which I will never... No, I don't have anything against orange, but I typically won't buy like orange furniture and have orange in my house all year round, but it is just a way to be able to incorporate a different color without it being your main staple piece. So a lot of my main furniture and decor is going to be neutral, but then changing the floral arrangements or changing a few touches here and there throughout the seasons allows me to add color and then change the color if it's too bold or if I'm just not feeling it. Once I've adjusted the heights to where I want the stems, then I'll just kind of take it and spread it out to make it look fuller without having to buy more. So just a reminder of what it looked like before. I haven't had anything in here since Christmas time and what it looks like after it already feels like a new space. Now moving over to our entryway, I felt like I wasn't going to decorate for winter time. I was just going to leave all of these tables empty. And like I mentioned before, they just became a catch all. So if I can put something I like on here, that would be a win. This beautiful pot I got from Pottery Barn and see how I have like two arches on either side. So I felt like something in the middle wouldn't cover those archways, but something that would just make a statement, but not it be over the top too much. Cherry blossom stems are such beautiful floral arrangements to decorate for spring. I have two different kinds here. I have some cherry blossom stems that I purchased from Target and then also a set from Amazon. The real nice tall fuller ones are the ones that I got from Amazon. Cherry blossoms are just so beautiful and flowy and I'm actually going to kind of pull them outward. So it also, not only does it give it a little bit of height, but it also gives it a little bit of width, but you don't have to overcomplicate it. I feel like these flowers are just beautiful by themselves. 
Last year I used these on the two vases on my main console table. I love the way it looks there, but I'm gonna change up that space. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to put them here. So in this main space, I wanted to go a little modern. I've been wanting to get rid of these. They look like doors. I got them at Hobby Lobby from a while ago, but I'm transitioning to a little bit of a more modern look. And those remind me more of a farmhouse look. This is the horse picture that's been here for a while. And although I love it, I've been wanting to change it up. I just haven't found that perfect piece that I want to go here. Styling this space has been difficult, but I think eventually I'm gonna go with an arched mirror. But until I find the perfect one, I'm gonna go ahead and put the horse picture back. The next thing I'm gonna do is pull out some clear vases that I've had. I got these at World Market maybe a year or two ago, and then also some green stems that I have already had from Hobby Lobby. And if you just remember in these clear vases I originally had the cherry blossoms but because I'm doing a little bit of a modern look here I'm going to keep it just the clear stems making them almost look like trees but my goal here is to add height to the sides and have this be my core piece and then decorate around it now if you notice I do like to have symmetry meaning I like to have the same thing on both sides Now that I have the two pieces on the side, I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of the table. To make my topiary tabletop pieces, I'm using these wooden, they're like kebab sticks, to hold them in place. Because I mix and match a lot, I didn't wanna glue them in place, but I needed them to stay on the vase. I originally thought just one of these kebab sticks would work, but the topiary top started kind of slumping over to the side if it wasn't in place. So it didn't feel super sturdy. So for the other one, I went back and ended up adding two of the kebab sticks or whatever so that it would feel a little more sturdy. Next, I'm going to pull out my rounded tray that I spray painted and just making sure that everything is dry so it doesn't ruin the table. And then I got some of this super moss. I wanted to put a little bit of moss on the bottom to make it feel a little bit like a moss plant. Now, I was looking online and some of these moss planters can run to like $225, which I was shocked because this little bag of moss I got for $7.99 at Hobby Lobby. These are artificial moss balls and all of this is again from Hobby Lobby. I think they were each like either $5.99 or $6.99 and then they were 50% off. So I grabbed a couple different variations of these to make a little green collage. Now leave me a comment down below if you noticed that I did make this into Mickey Mouse ears. Now I love this, it gives me that modern feel and I'm adding lots of greenery inside. I thought that I was done here, but I felt like it was a little bit plain. So I went and added some of these black candles that I had to either side and I think that it looks so much better with them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like the green modern look or would you rather go more traditional? Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm gonna make two floral arrangements where I'm mixing flowers. So if you notice in my other floral arrangements, I just use one type of flower, but here I'm going to mix and match and make a really pretty bouquet. Now when I start off, I like to start with the greenery and kind of get the fullness in there and then I start picking and choosing different flowers to use. These are really not difficult to make. I know that sometimes you look at them and it's like this beautiful arrangement. Um, basically, I think the key is making sure that you have kind of a couple different flowers, making sure you have greenery for the base and then making it full. I'm sure there is some kind of technique for all the florists out there, but for me, I just kind of, I keep it as simple as possible, not overcomplicate it, and just pick maybe two to three really pretty different flowers I wanna mix with it, again, with that green base. I didn't purchase any new flowers for this, so I'm just working with everything that I had from last year. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright I move this rose floral arrangement vase around a little bit, but whenever I do my front porch and spring and Easter decorate with me video, then I'll show you guys where I ended up putting it. Now the coffee table, I keep it very simple. That little tray is from Target and then I just had that little faux flower arrangement from home goods i have to keep it simple because i have toddlers who grab everything but next i'm moving on to this i bought this what is this like a long bush thing from home goods last year and my whole intent was to try and rip all the bushes out and create like my own really pretty planner and i'll show you an inspiration pick in a second i ended up just leaving it as is last year but this year i got another inspiration to change it up so i went to hobby lobby to purchase some things with the intent to rip everything out but when i noticed when i got back home i noticed that the base you couldn't rip it out so i'm going to work around this by using these little styrofoam things and gluing them in between the bushes here is the inspiration picture behind the idea this little planter is 149 dollars from pottery barn but i figured i could try and make my own i was a little worried about how it was going to turn out but i think overall it does turn out really good so these are just the styrofoam things where i'm able to stick in more flowers to them so i'm hiding them in between the bushes and i picked up a few of the tulips and a couple other flowers from hobby lobby when i was there 
If you like this idea and you are creative, then you can even make your own planter box. I originally wanted to do that last year, but I, I didn't get to it. And this was the closest thing I could find at Home Goods to something I wanted. And yes, I just pulled out some <laughs> chapsticks in there. Probably from last year, I had this on our coffee table. But I am going to finish up getting all of the styrofoam glued in. I don't know where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about Next, I'll pull out all of the flowers that I bought. Now, I like to buy them in bunches because it's a little bit cheaper and you'll, you get a lot of stems just from that one bunch. This was actually in the wedding department on Clarence, so it's supposed to be one of like the bouquets that you hold, but I liked the little flowers with it, so I just unwrapped it and then I'll go ahead and clip off the ends of these and then start building the arrangement. Something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. I'm really loving tulips this season, but you guys let me know in the comments below what is your favorite flower. The night with her, spring one of my t-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Now, as we all have busy schedules in our day-to-day -day lives, just remember to always just take some time for yourself. Now, I know that's easier said than done because we're constantly putting other people's needs ahead of our own. If you like to get creative, then make it a priority to make something of your own. Now, this looks amazing. It's worth more to me than the $149 one from Pottery Barn because I took the time to think about it and make something of my own and it just filled my cup. So I challenge you to figure out what is going to fill your cup today and do that. I decided to go ahead and put this next to our end table behind the couch because every time I walk past it, it just makes me feel happy. Not only because it looks beautiful in my opinion, but because I made it. Now, I really hope that you got some good ideas from this video, whether you don't decorate at all or you love decorating. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe because I love to share all kinds of helpful content. But give this video a like and I will see you guys next week.